I'm Will, and today the lineup turns 18. So fuck you, mom and dad. You can't tell us what to do anymore. Tell them, Mox. Playing football in West Canaan may have been the opportunity of your lifetime, but I don't want your life. Yeah. Know who else doesn't want to play football anymore? Randy Moss, the man who bestowed upon us the phrase straight cash, homie, has announced his retirement after playing 13 seasons in the NFL. Okay, well, maybe he actually only played like 11 seasons. Oh yeah, well, uh, that's true. Ten and a half seasons of playing football, give or take a few dozen plays. Eh, let's just call it 10 seasons to be safe. Every football player who isn't Randy Moss, however, is being signed by the Philadelphia Eagles. They've already locked up Namdi Asima, Cullen Jenkins, Jason Babin, Vince Young, and Ronnie Brown, which means they're either poised for a Super Bowl run or playing a really cruel joke on Freddie Mitchell by getting his hopes up. He is the people's champion, the Sultan of Slot, remember? Falcons! The Giants are employing a team of the birds to chase away menacing seagulls that have been invading AT&T Park, which isn't a bad idea, but they'd save a lot of money if instead of using numerous falcons, they just use one falco. Go ahead and play the video. I know you want to. Rock me, I'm a deus. Humans love it, seagulls hate it. Justin Combs, the New York prep football standout and son of Diddy, is getting attention from Division I schools like Illinois and Virginia. Though if his dad had a say, he'd attend a less academically stringent school. You know, somewhere where he could take another person's work, pass it off as his own, and still achieve massive success. Chad Henny, baby, baby. Fans booed him at the Dolphins training camp and even started chanting for rumored trade target Kyle Orton, showing just how fiercely loyal Miami fans are to quarterbacks who will never, ever win a Super Bowl. Kevin Durant dropped 66 points during a game at Harlem's legendary Rucker Park. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not too impressed. I'm unathletic and I scored 66 points in a game just last night. Q-U-I-Z, triple word score. Suck it, motherfuckers. Lingerie basketball made its debut in LA last week and is a win for everyone involved. It gives women too attractive for the WNBA league to play in, it gives basketball fans something to watch during the lockout, and it gives Eddie Curry a place where he won't be the only player wearing a bra on the court. Rex Ryan showed up to Jets camp with his highly retarded tattoo on his calf. Rex said it means believe in yourself, but really he just wanted to bond with new receiver Plaxico Burris by seeing how it felt to look like a jackass by totally f***ing up your own leg. Finally, the X Games were held this past weekend and the ladies stole the show. And here it is, Geiger getting a little bound up. And hitting that inside barrier, looks locked like, up on the brakes. Yeah, there. it looks like it ended up inside that barrel. And Martinez with her problems on her way. Elizabeth Bash, you see her back tire sliding around, gets bound up, uh, takes a trip down the side, and score 11 for Maria Forsberg. I don't know what they expected. You get seven women on their cycle at the same time, and things are going to get pretty ugly. I'm Will, and before we go, we want to give you a plug for our new sponsor. So hey, NBA players, if you're looking for a place to get your rugs or upholstery cleaned at a low price, head down to Ohio and get a steam from Gloria James. That's Gloria James Cleveland Steamers. Look them up on Google. It's been like three weeks. I needed to make a Gloria James joke. I needed to. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Play yourself, Falco. Just